Hello there and welcome to uh, Prop, the Prop Store exhibition. Uh, my name's Tim and I'm with our old friend Brian Johnson who's come in today to talk to us about the Eagle uh, from Space 1999. Um, thanks for coming Brian, really appreciate it. Um, I think it's fair to say you know you've won two Oscars, you've won the Saturn Award, you've been associated with countless amazing movies and productions. And the BAFTA. And the BAFTA. <laughs> mustn't, mustn't forget the BAFTA. But would it be fair to say that the Eagle is the thing that you're perhaps best associated with or best known for? Certainly uh, for the majority of people I think yes. Um, I was working for Jerry Anderson when he gave me the script and then it was this sh spacecraft. I'd worked on 2001 and there was a moon bus in there. When I was doing the moon bus with Doug Trumbull I sketched in for myself one with an open girder work over the top, like a Maserati birdcage sports car, because the moon bus was just flat on the top. And we were sticking plastic kits and things on it. And then I threw those away. That was in 1964. And then when Jerry showed me the script for um, 1999, I suddenly thought, oh. And I started off with a girder bridge thing on the top then added all the other bits. These were originally spherical because I thought they'd be going through air. So they, they, if they were like that, they'd be... But then I decided to facet it because it looked more, much more interesting photographically. So, so how many different design phases do you think it went through before it became what it is now? Only about two. OK. So it was pretty much how you initially... I, I do terrible sketches, so I did a terrible sketch um, with it sort of basically like it was. And then we had a um, draftsman at Pinewood, Michael Lamont. And I showed him my drawings and then he produced this sort of, and then we photocopied it and extended it until we got to what we have here. And then I gave that to Space Models and Space Models built it. And then we added a few bits of extra kit and stuff on it. And there it is. How do you feel about seeing it again now? Well, it's lovely to see it. I wish I'd, I've got one. I've got a 44 inch um, from 12, 16, 16, 12. But it's not as good as, well, it's nearly as good, but not as good as this. Yeah, there's some fine this, detail on this, this one. This is the best one. Yeah. Well, we used um, electronic valves in there. There are actually not enough jets coming out for reality, but it was good enough for what we needed. So we shut it and they gave us the right effect underneath and stuff. That's what we needed. And it was hanging on wires. And the black bits were where the insulating tape was because we were running 24 volts down the wires to trigger the electronic switches inside. And that was our major problem was getting rid of the wires. And of course, Blu-ray now <laughs> has completely spoiled the game because all these clever kids can rock and roll and watch the show and say, oh, I can see a wire, I can see a wire. Well, we had the, the resolution then was 625 lines on television. And now we're 4K or 8K sometimes. And it's not fair, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it still comes off pretty well, I have to say. No, I think it st still stands up, as does the story. I think it's, um, it, it really does survive today. And obviously a few of these were smashed up along the way, and I believe this one's rebuilt a number of times. You know, they dive into some soft material and stuff and they get cleaned up. One caught fire briefly. <laughs> but then it's just a question of spraying it, you know, and getting rid of the black bits. You know, they survived pretty well, really. Um, so this, thank you, Brian, so much for coming in today. Really appreciate it. Um, to say that this is uh, lot 290 or in, and it'll be sold in day one of our three day auction. Uh, which will be taking place on the 9th, 10th and 11th of November. Uh, the full catalogue goes live on the 12th of October. Um, there'll be online bidding and telephone bidding available. But sadly, because of COVID, we're unable to have any bidders live present in the room. Um, all the details can be found on propstore.com. And thanks for watching.